Uh, in this video, we are going uh, to discuss uh, important issues about uh, classification of uh, research. And uh, something important to know about the classification of research, how research can be uh, classified. Uh, to start with, the research can be classified philosophically into theoretical and empirical research. I would like to know a difference between the two. We talk about theoretical research, and this type of research is based mainly on theoretical approaches of ideas to explain something or to explain a certain issue or a certain case or so. And the research depends mainly on theoretical sources of data uh, to report. Uh, in this type of research, our focus is laid mainly on the speculation of uh, views, of opinions, of suppositions, of theories, in order to understand the investigated issue or the investigated case, or, and so on. Uh, empirical research, on the other hand, the empirical research is based on observation, on experience, and experimentation, rather than theory, in order to search for uh, facts around a certain problem or a certain issue. Um, well, health and medical research mainly follow the empirical approach that is based upon obser observation, upon experience, upon experimentation, for example, conduct of randomized clinical control trial, conduct of uh, experimental uh, research, a preventive trial for uh, experimenting and uh, uh, experimentation of uh, uh, primary uh, preventive measures such as uh, primary, uh, such as uh, vaccines and chemoprophylaxis and so on. The research depends on empirical approaches such as laboratory investigation, experimentation, measurements, and etc. And that is the difference from the theoretical. Uh, empirical research in health and medical sciences can be qualitative or quantitative. Uh, in quantitative research, it is a type of empirical research in which the variables are mainly measured in quantities, in frequencies, in rates, in ratios. Uh, thus, the methods employed in this type of research are objective rather than being uh, subjective, in the sense that uh, you can measure the anthropometric measurements, the weight and the height, and etc. Uh, qualitative research in this type of uh, research, observations made, made by the researcher are generated in terms of categories, some sort of categorization by using individual or group interviews. Thus, the employed methods in this type uh, tend to be subjective rather than objective in comparison to the quantitative uh, research. Research can be classified according to the purpose or the overall aim or which is conducted. For example, you have basic research. And this type of research is conducted for the purpose of enriching knowledge and advancement of knowledge without aiming or targeting a specific purpose of cert cert uh, solving certain problem or finding solution uh, for, cert for a specific problem. And uh, the other category is applied research. And this is a type of research in which uh, in which, uh, uh, which is conducted for a specific problem aiming to find solution based on the facts generated by uh, the research. Um, then we move on to talk about the health uh, research uh, classification. This is the other part. Uh, the health research is generally described under uh, interlinked categories. The following interlinked categories, which is biomedical research, health services, health policy and health system research, epidemiological research, and behavioral research. Maybe there are four categories, and they are interlinked uh, categories, as we said. We talk about the biomedical research, and according to New Jersey Association for Biomedical Research, um, which is available in the following um, website, um, they uh, define biomedical research as a broad area of science that looks for ways and approaches to prevent and treat diseases that cause illness and this in people and as well as in animals. And, uh, this general uh, field of research includes many areas of both life and physical uh, sciences, such as pharmacology, microbiology, uh, veterinary sciences, etc. 
And as well, uh, there is tendency for utilization of biotechnology techniques, biomedical research and study, biological processes and diseases with the ultimate goal of developing effective treatment uh, for treatment of different diseases. And as we can see that biomedical research, it is an evolutionary process requiring careful experimentation by many scientists, including biologists, physiologists, chemists, and uh, uh, other uh, consultants from different disciplines. Uh, for those uh, discovery of new medicines and therapy requires careful ex scientific experimentation and development and evaluation, uh, especially before uh, using these medicines for treatment of human subjects. And this can be carried uh, in the preclinical phase of the trials uh, in experimental animals. For those who are interested, they can visit the website of uh, New Jersey Biomedical uh, Research for further information. Now we talk about the health service research. And according to the Department of Health Services School of Public Health, University of Washington, the United States, the definition of health services is uh, uh, yani constantly evolving and has been defined uh, by in different uh, ways by a number of uh, authors and number of organizations. Uh, for example, health services research examine how people get access to health care, how people they access the health care services at different levels, whether at tertiary level or uh, secondary level or primary level, and how much uh, care uh, cost in the sense of the cost of the services, how much people they pay for, the, uh, for uh, uh, getting the services, and what happens to patients as a result of this care. And, uh, this is according to a uh, definition of the uh, uh, Department of Health Services School of Public Health, University of Washington. And uh, the main goal of health service research is to identify the most effective ways to organize, to manage, to finance, and to deliver high quality uh, services for the uh, community uh, members, especially in the remote areas and this. And as well as one of the goals of the health service research is to reduce the medical errors and, and to document and to, 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 share, to conduct research for documentation of medical errors aiming to reduce such errors by uh, developing a specific recommendation for interventions that will help them. Also, uh, to improve patient safety, and this is a very wide area which is so important that to protect uh, the patient against uh, many of the complications that arise as a result of uh, the receiving uh, services. And this is according to the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality in year 2002. Now we move to epidemiological uh, research. And epidemiological research uh, yeah, and it covers all aspects of epidemiology, including disease frequency, disease distribution, and disease determinants and uh, depends on observation to find out epidemiological facts and pattern. We can talk about epidemiological pattern of tuberculosis among the school children through uh, conduct of medical research. And uh, the, uh, the, the, the medical research usually covers the three domains of epidemiology, uh, mainly to look for disease frequency, like uh, estimation of the prevalence rate, for example, of multi drug resistant uh, tuberculosis among uh, TB patients, to look for the defaulting rate, for example, or we can conduct research uh, to uh, yeah, find out the distribution of the disease geographically and demographically, and etc. And as well as to study the determinants of disease among human population. And when we talk about determinants, we talk about risk factors and causes of uh, the disease. In addition, we talk about the behavioral research. For example, um, yeah, the behavioral research is concerned with the issues of behavior that affects uh, the human health. Um, uh, we have to mention here that the human behavior is complex and shaped by multiple uh, factors, such as social, economical, mental, psychological, cultural, religious, and other uh, factors. So, uh, uh, conclusively, the human behavior is so complex um, 
Thus, it covers a wide spectrum of areas uh, that we study in the uh, under, uh, behavioral research. For example, we can talk about treatment seeking behavior, how um, individuals or how patients they behave when they capture a disease. What do they do? Yeah. Um, um, how they react to uh, the disease, how they find access to accessibility to service, how they, they seek for uh, service. For example, if uh, the individual has captured malaria, what sort of behavior is there and what are the factors that influence such behavior? And we know that there are so many diseases and health problems that are widely determined by behaviors, behavioral based, for example, schizomyelitis, drug addiction, sexual transmitted infection, mental health disorders, um, drug addiction, etc. And all these are considered as um, uh, behavioral determined or behavioral based health problems or disease. And these also are covered by the behavioral uh, research. Thank you very much for your interest.